ideally, where are the touch points where LinkedIn ads would work really well? For just discovery, for letting people know in your target audience that your brand exists and what you do, LinkedIn's so good at that because you can let someone know and you know that this is someone who feels your pain point. So you can let them know that your brand exists. So I think that discovery really works well starting on LinkedIn and then ensuring that you have retargeting set up, ensuring that you are bidding on the proper keywords, ensuring that you are on other platforms so that when they then go to those other platforms and check you out or encounter you, they're, they're much more likely to, to feel like you're legit and, and it's worth pursuing. So, so what are the metrics to keep an eye on um, to demonstrate LinkedIn ads success? I think your very first line of defense really is your click-through rate. Uh, I like to picture that when someone, when you're trying to get someone to take a, a conversion action, you really have two hurdles to get over. The first hurdle is you're showing an ad and you need someone to click on it. Then once they've clicked, you need them to convert. So that first hurdle is your click-through rate. We know that LinkedIn's average click-through rate on, on a sponsored content ad, that's the newsfeed ads, is around 0.45%. So if you launch an ad and you are well above that, that's a pat on the back to you. Like, oh, okay, it looks like we're flying over this first hurdle. Our ads are engaging. That's what I can tell myself. If you're under that, you might say, oh, our ad creative is not getting people's attention. Maybe we're not hitting that pain point we need to. The next one being conversion rate is, you know, once they've clicked, now we want to see at what rate are we actually getting them to take action. And that one is, it's getting harder to track without cookies. Um, you know, there is conversion tracking on, on every platform. LinkedIn is, is similar there. Uh, it's a lot better if you're using their native lead gen forms because then conversion tracking is, is just automatic. Um, LinkedIn knows exactly who and when someone you know, filled out that form. But that's how I would tell, you know, we've shown them the message to get them interested. Are we showing them enough to get them to actually want to convert, to get them over that hump of providing information, becoming a lead?